Welcome back everyone to Light Source Engraving and this is the unboxing and assembly of the Solvol SV07 Plus. S-O-V-O-L Sovol. And this is the SV07 Plus. Let's make our first slice. Maybe. There we go. Scan with the Amazon shopping app to learn more. Civil technical support. All right, have the user manual. Manual for connecting the Wi-Fi. A little parts bag with the accelerometer, some cables, and some white PLA filament that we can get started with. Have the mount for the screen. Spool holder. Underneath it. Boom, we have our touch screen. So here's our clipper touch screen. This is our is the auxiliary blower that mounts on the X gantry. Here we have our extruder. See the LED lights under there. The inductive leveling um, bed tramming probe, but it's an inductive probe. And then let's see. All right. Here we have our main gantry, X and Z. All right. Some more foam. Here is, I uh, can't remember what this material is. The auxiliary bed cover, and this is magnetic double sided sheet. There's more foam there, power plug. All right, let's see if we can get the machine out of here. Here's the power plug. And there's the machine. Now we have our bed, 300 by 300. Magnetic. The magnetic bed does index 
into these two bolts. Just index that and let it stick. So it looks like we have a knob for the extruder. Cable for the touch screen. Here we have our little parts bags, which are conveniently labeled by steps. So we have step one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and here we have the auxiliary blower fan. This mounts on the X gantry. Here's another look at our extruder. We have LED lights underneath of it, the induction probe for bed tramming. Again, here's the bracket that holds the screen on to the printer. Here's a look at the, our clipper touchscreen. Various ports on the back. Mounting pins for the bracket. And on the spool roll, we have the filament run out sensor mounted. The user manual is written in English and appears very thorough. I do want to point out in the manual, there are leveling spare parts. So that means we can use the spacers instead of the springs that are installed on the bed. So before I do anything, I am going to go ahead and switch over to these spacers.
Okay, now that that's done, we're officially ready to move on to step one. Step one is installing the gantry frame. With the M5 by 45 screws and M5 by 20 screws. You do have a note telling you which type of screw head to use at this point of the installation. So you're wanting the round cap heads, round head screws. All right, our next step is to attach the screen mount. You do this with two M4 by 16 screws. Here we have them in the little baggie. And there is a third th screw that gets installed on the side here in the owner's manual. Now we're ready for the touch screen. All right, now we are ready to assemble the extruder. Use four M3 by 10 screws. Attach our extruder to the back plate. Now we need our auxiliary blower assembly and two M5 by 20 screws. Next comes our filament holder, which will snap into the front of this profile and then lock into place. And then we attach it with one of them. See, it's an M3, M4 by 16. All right, now the manual tells us we have to hook up all of our cables and select the voltage on the power supply in the back of the machine. For the extruder wires kit, you'll see it says from here, please attach the cable, cable tie to the X axis plate. All right, as you can see here, I have the filament sensor connected. And then we have the extruder cable connected and then zip tied around. And then here is where they want you to zip tie the cable to the X axis plate. You'll see right there. It's right here. Then the filament holder is mounted. Need to plug in, let's see, stepper motor cable there plug, is plugged in. Plug in our screen and our other stepper motor cable. And at this point, we have finished assembly of the Solval SV07 Plus. Now we can begin the process of setting up for our first print. 